listen to this evening says it is possible. And before we go into the topic, I want us to know the definition of possible. Possible means something is achievable. You can achieve something. And that text is taken from Mark 9, verse 23. And it says, to them that believe, everything is possible. So I don't know that situation you're in right now. That prayer you have been praying every night, you keep waiting your pillow. You say, God, when will you remember me? I want to tell you, the Bible said, if only you believe, everything is possible. Because the God we serve is more abundantly to do that which we think or imagine. In his storehouse, he has everything we need. The Bible said that he has given us all that pertains to life and godliness. So our own is for us to believe the word of God. Maybe God has promised you so many things. From the beginning of the year, you have booked masses. You have followed in all the novenas. You have been doing your midnight. You have been attending masses. You have been going for, uh, to, to bless the sacrament. And it seems all hope is lost. I want to tell you, Habakkuk 2, chap uh, chapter, well, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4 says, that though it tarries, the vision is for an appointed time. Wait for it, because it will surely come. Though it tarries, it will come. It will not delay. So I have come to encourage you. Let us continue to wait, look unto this Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. The only thing we need to do is to activate our faith. It's not yet over and it is over. We are in the last quarter of the year. The Bible said that the end of his thing is better than the beginning thereof. Just keep in. Let your faith come up. I bet you, you will definitely get what you are looking for in the name of Jesus. So briefly, I want us to look into the Bible. There are some of the situations where God has proved himself to be the impossibility specialist. Number one in creation. Jeremiah 32 verse 17 says, Our Lord God, your hands has made the heaven and the earth by that great power. He said, nothing is too difficult for you to do. God said, let there be, and the world came into being. So for you to know, by the spoken word of God, the earth came into existence. Number two, in judgment. In Genesis 11, the Bible said that God is a this uh, confused the language of the proud men in Tower of Babel. You know the story where they want to build a tower to get to heaven. And God being God confused their languages and they couldn't achieve their aim. Then God, uh, when he dis uh, destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, you get that in Genesis 19. Because of their sin, God de destroyed the land. Because they refused to repent, God destroyed them. Then well, in Exodus chapter 14, you see when God disappointed the pharaoh and his magicians at the middle of in judgment in genesis 11 the bible said that god is a this uh, confused the language of the proud men in tower of babel you know the story where they want to build a tower to get to heaven and god being god confused their languages and they couldn't achieve their aim then God, uh, when he dis uh, destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, you get that in Genesis 19. Because of their sin, God de destroyed the land. Because they refused to repent, God destroyed them. Then, well, in Exodus chapter 14, you see when God disappointed the Pharaoh and his magicians at the middle of the Red Sea. Then, the third man says, God being a help when we could not help ourselves. You have, maybe you've seen your situation in a situation where all hope is lost. God proves himself mighty. Example, Abraham and Sarah, when he entertained strangers without knowing it, when he attained strangers than their angels, and God brought, brought in the promised child, Isaac, that, through that. Then, when God, you know, in Exodus chapter 14, when God parted the Red Sea, and the children of Israel, the Bible recorded, they walked on dry ground. Their hope was lost. And God showed forth, and they got their deliverance. Then in Luke chapter 8, 43, you see the story of the woman with the issue of blood. The Bible recorded that this woman has visited so many physicians, and that day she took a decision. She, you know, she took she, she make it, it took a decision and said, No, if only I should touch the hem of this garment, his garment. I've been hearing about this man, and the Bible recorded she left her home. She came out searching for Jesus. And what happened when he found Jesus? He touched the hem, and the Bible recorded that the flu ceased. What of our brother Ezekiel in Ezekiel 30, chapter uh, chapter thirty seven? God said, Ezekiel, is it possible that this dry bone shall live? Ezekiel said, God only you knows. And the God said, prophesy, and he obeyed because he had faith. He obeyed, and what happened? 
dry bones lived again. My sisters and my brothers have come to encourage us. It doesn't matter the situation you are in right now. It doesn't matter that ill health that made you cry all day long. You know, you say, God, where are you? When will you remember me? Is it that you have rebellious children? Is it that your landlord is about to throw your things out? Is it school fees? Is it there is no food on the table? I have come to encourage you that the God we serve is God of all impossibilities. Just believe and Everything will be possible. Thank you.